parents were okay at home, though there was a lot of arguments. But it was worse than that. My dad was hitting my mum. He said it was her fault that she wound him up. But I knew that wasn't true. Sometimes, when she wasn't around, he'd have a go at me too. He was my dad. But I hated him when he was like that. I didn't want to tell anyone. I thought I was the only person in the world this was happening to. I couldn't have my friends back. I never knew what he'd be like. I thought we'd be better off without him. I used to get mad with my mum because she wouldn't leave him. She told me since how she was worried about us having nowhere to live and having no money. She hoped he would change. We did leave once. We went to stay at my mum's friend Rose's. But he found us. He promised he wouldn't do it again and we believed him. We'd only been back a few weeks when one night he came back from the pub and threatened her with a knife. I ran next door and they called the police. I think it was the policewoman who told my mum about the refuge. It was scary, leaving my house and going to this strange place, not knowing anyone. I had to share a room with my mum, but I liked that. It was so noisy and crowded, I went a bit mad. I'd lost my dad, my home. I had to change schools and couldn't see my old friends. And I had to leave my cat, Charlie, behind. But the women at the refuge really helped me and my mum.